So here's one of my molds that I use. And these are the ejector pins that are sticking out that are brass, those ones right there. So in order to get those to be made right, you gotta mill those after you've made the push bar. So you have the push bar in the back, the ejector pins all screwed into those. So I put threads on those and tap them in, lock tight them. Then you set the height that the mold will run at and you mill them flush. Assembled, it has the spring in there. And then of course now it won't come out enough. But that fits into a jig that I use for milling. So the jig is the same thickness spacer bars that I use in the inject injection molding machine. It's screwed to a plate, which pushes my pins up to the right height that I want to clip them off at. So up until now, I've actually just been setting the height of the uh, bit manually by hand. And I usually put a piece of paper underneath it and set it so that the paper just barely comes out like that. And that would be the height I clip them off at according to the aluminum height. And I would turn it back and forwards by hand as it's running and I work my way across the pin at that height. Now that's a scary and painful and not as accurate and every now and then it would change the height would change and i would hit the aluminum so the other day i was thinking there's got to be a way to use this automated process built into the cnc mill how to do that so now what i do is i set the same height that i want right here and i hit the z height on the uh program so that that is my zero height of my mold and then I have a stock height above that, which would be the height of the pin. And I bore down to that. So you can see that that one there, I just finished the process here now. And it's just finished. It's, you can't even hardly feel the height difference, but it's done. And it's nice. So here's what I did is I, on the XY center, I put a hole. So right in the center of the... Uh, of the um, program, I put it into design mode. So the hole's right on the center of the origin. And that's, I made it seven millimeter for a 6.3 millimeter pin. So slightly bigger, so I don't have to be deadly accurate to get it. And if it is off center, it won't make a, uh, well, if I go into the mold, it actually would just make a ring. So it wouldn't be terrible to look at, even if I did mess up slightly. So what I did is I, I set up a, a material like this to mill. And in the manufacturing, I made my stock. And you can see that the stock is the height of those pins, seven millimeters or higher. And then the hole is there. And so what I do is I tell it to bore a hole down to the surface of, this, of the model. So what it's thinking is doing is going to go through the stock and stop at the height of the model. And I told it to do it very, very fine so it doesn't go fast. So I'm doing it at a quarter degree angle. So it's going to take about four minutes to come down seven millimeters, but it's not going to cause any strain on the mold since, or on the model, since the model is sitting in my mill, only double-sided sticky taped to the surface. And uh, so now all I got to do is set the height for each hold. Just double check that it's set right. Zero that height. Then I got to move the bit to the top of the pin. And I just use my finger to feel that it's centered and X and Y uh, that's centered. Then I hit the origin center on that, which is done right here. So that I move it, I move it, uh, I move the height down and zero it using the, the that command. Then after that, I use the motor and I lift it up above and I screw it over top of the pin by manually by hand. And then I set the X, Y coordinates home that way. And then I just got to hit run the program. And now it just it orbits down on top of that pin until it hits the zero height and stops. So 
So here it is orbiting down. Now it is starting a bit higher than I would could normally do, but you can see that it's tracking down toward the uh, material. So here it is just coming up to the end and it's a bit scary to think about that it's going to stop automatically at the right height. But then of course it milled everything else perfect, why wouldn't it do this perfect? So it's doing a five degree cut now, a little faster. I don't think I'd go any steeper than that. It's orbiting seven and a half millimeter orbit around a 6.3 millimeter pin, which is quarter inch. Take about three minutes to do this six millimeter trim. Here you can see the output to the mill. And there we're done. So here I've set the width for the X and the Y. Close as I can get it using feel and looking. I've already set the height of the bottom. So I've zero both and now I'm gonna hit run.